This is exercise five of Ohio University's NAVAID performance prediction model. Today we're going to try to determine the acceptable locations near a runway which would not degrade the ILS service. Uh, we're going to be using our WI-1410 array type. The runway length will be 9,000. The setback is already 1,000. We're going to choose a frequency as close to 110 megahertz as we can, which will be channel 109.95. Uh, this will be a category one inspection. Uh, we're going to be iterating the position of a building so that we try to find the locations that uh, do not put us outside of tolerance. So we're going to go to our scatter editor. The building is 500 feet in length, so we will put a plate that starts at negative 250 in the x direction, goes to positive 250 in the uh, x uh, direction, and then the building height will be 120 feet. So you can see this scatterer, uh, obviously we're looking straight on, so you can't quite see a lot of it, but here in the scatter editor you have uh, normals pointing in that direction. There's a plate 120 feet tall, so we'll save this as example5. Example5.psc. So we have, we've got our scatterer. So we put our scatter in the world, and then we're going to iterate its position. Uh, the next page of the instructions say we want to go from a minimum of negative 8,000 to a maximum of zero, incrementing by 1,000 in the x direction, and go from a minimum of 200 to a maximum of 800, incrementing by 50 in the y direction. So we can save that, and then we're going to run our iterations. Uh, I'll have to add, add a trace first. Um, this is oh, so this is an ILS3 approach. Um, run the iterations. So there are uh, nine uh, iterations in the x direction and 13 iterations in the uh, y direction. So there'll be 117 iterations total. So some of these iterations will take more time than other others because they uh, are, in the, are in the near field and the near field calculations for the model are slightly more intensive than the far field. Um, when this is done, we'll get a pop-up that shows each um, of these iterations values for uh, it'll start with a category one inspection like it said it's showing zone two values uh, some of these will be out of tolerance so I'll click on one of those uh, to show you uh, where it's out of tolerance and why um, then we'll go to the actual iteration plots which show all the iterations uh, simultaneously um, and which values are good and which values are unusable we're about halfway done now So we're about three quarters of the way done now. I, I do want to point out uh, one feature that isn't implemented yet, and that is the FAA's 95% rule. So some of these iteration locations will say they're uh, over 100% of tolerance, which they are, but they still might pass inspection because it passes the 95% rule. Um, that isn't in here yet, but it will be in a future release. So we're at 95%, so the pop-up should come shortly. So here we've got a table um, of each of the iterations. Um, and their uh, angle and structure. So we'll pick this one. It says that in zone 3 of category 1 it is 368 percent of tolerance. So we show it. Zone 3 you can see there's a big spike here. It's out of tolerance. We can zoom in a little bit. See it goes well outside. Um, we can also switch between categories 1, 2, and 3 uh, for this uh, plot. But the main reason we're doing this is for the iteration plots. So we're going to show the uh, x direction on the x axis and the y direction, uh, y direction on the y axis, but you don't have to do it that way. Um, so here are the plots. So you'll see the values colored. In, this, is, this is the actual structure of uh, values in, in microamps. So the values in blue are well within tolerance, red are out of tolerance, and the teals and greens and yellows are getting closer and closer to being out of tolerance. Um, we can switch back and forth between these are the zone 2 values. Uh, you saw the zone 3 values tended to be uh, more out of tolerance. You can see there's a lot more red. Um, and then uh, we have sort of this lucky charms uh, 
view where we've got these green green crosses and blue X's and red squares that show whether something is greater than 25% of tolerance or greater than 50% of tolerance or the black the black uh, dark squares are greater than 100% of tolerance. So uh, barring the 95% rule, those are the places that uh, you would not want the building to be put. Thank you.